Hi everyone, this is Heba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook. I will be documenting two photos. One is a picture of one of my daughter's drawings and the other is of her holding her new Copic markers. Now my daughter loves to draw and I love everything she does. Uh, especially this uh, recent one she did it right after we got back from vacation she drew um, under the sea kind of um, fish and starfish and a turtle and then we or she wanted to buy some new copic markers so we did that and i thought i would like to document both these pictures on one spread now as always i'm going to start with a bunch of scrap paper some of them uh, have holes in them, some I've already used and cut out, but I don't throw anything away. You guys know this, I love to use all my scraps. They are perfect to back up your photos. And at first I thought I would add a picture to each side of my layout, but I'm gonna scrap that idea totally. I at first thought it would be a good idea, but I felt like it was getting really busy and I knew I wanted to use a Kelly Perky stamp set, the Maker stamp set. And that Maker stamp set has a bunch of illustrations on it. And I really wanted to stamp out a bunch of them. So I felt like if I did that and had two pictures or one picture on each side, it would be way too busy. So I decided to just leave it for now until I stamp out all my little illustrations and you can see me thinking about it and then kind of decide what I want to do. But I'm going to grab some black archival, start stamping these uh, little stamps, and then I'm going to grab some different colored inks to fill out my stamps because these stamps are buildable, which is pretty neat, which I love. And I'm just going to fill them out randomly. I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just going to try to uh, kind of match my inks to my scrap paper and then I will fussy cut out all my little stamped images and try to figure out how I'm going to end up adding them to my spread with my two photos. So now that I'm done stamping my stamps out, I actually decide to use a glassine bag to be able to use both of these photos and not have it be so busy. I love doing that. I love adding them in glassine bags or little envelopes uh, to help me kind of reduce the busyness on my spread. Um, so I'm I got to the point where I figured out how I'm going to be adding these photos and my paper layers. So I'm going to go ahead and start fussy cutting these out and adding them to my spread. I'm going to end up adding them to the top and bottom of my paper and having that um, like space in the, in the middle to be able to stamp out a title. I thought it was a great idea. I love doing that on my layouts, having some kind of balance where you have some busy elements, but yet your title is not busy. Um, you're going to see this once I start adding my title and everything and adding my photos. But I always feel like if you had a large title, add, add a lot of stamping and add a lot of pictures, it just becomes so busy. Even these paper layers, because they're going to end up kind of uh, behind my photo and my photo and glassine bag are going to cover a lot of this. So it's really going to mute down all those colors and those paper layers. So I always recommend that when you're adding a lot of elements to one spread, you have to kind of mute down certain things. So because like I said, I have a lot of pictures, I have a lot of paper layers, keeping my title simple is going to be key here. Uh, if I added a huge, large title, it would have been very, very busy. Um, but anyways, I'm not going to make you watch me stick down every single stamped image. I just went ahead and stuck them down. I really like how they look. 
now I want to start working on my title. I decided to use one of the stamps that says I'd rather be and you can kind of build it on I'd rather be scrapbooking, knitting, drawing and of course I'm going to end up stamping drawing. I do have this 3x4 card that's been sitting on my desk. I used it recently for a different spread. I just used the title from that 3x4 card and I had this box with the days of the weeks left. So I felt like it worked really well to add my title in it and it just gives like um, a base for my title which I love and I always recommend don't throw away your scraps, don't throw away any of it. It's great to add a title to it, it's great for backing up your photos. Just use them, have them in a little drawer and little baggies and use them up. When I stamped out that pair of scissors on my title, I really liked them so I decided to stamp some more and then just fussy cut them out and add them to my cluster of illustrations. I just think it added a little something to my clusters. This is another example of keeping your scraps. This piece of four by six card <laughs> is cut up. I used punches and all that good stuff, but it's gonna work perfectly to give a little pop of color to my title card. And even those little empty spots where they're not filled out um, actually looked pretty cool against my stamped images. It looked like I did it on purpose. It just those little stamps kind of fill that spot out, which I really, really like. But anyways, I'm done with my title and now I feel like I need to fix the left side of my spread a little bit. Some of these paper layers just um, weren't working for me. So I moved them around a little bit and I'm actually going to end up adding some more uh, scrap paper to back up my photo and glassine bag later on in this video. But for now, I decide I want to punch holes in my photos and add twine. And I kind of mess up here. I, once I stamped my punch, uh, I did it way off and I'm going to fix it. I will end up bringing in some white cardstock backing up my photo to it to fill out that uh, circle. And then I'll, pun I'll repunch it and add my twine. I'm, it, you have to play around a little bit when you make mistakes uh, while you're crafting. But what I love about crafting is you can always fix your mistakes there's always a way out you guys but anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and fix my little boo-boo and then add my twine and then bring back my little photos into my glassine bag Now I decide I need to add a little something to my glassine bag. So I'm going to end up stamping crafting in progress on a blue Kelly Perky label and just adding that label right on my glassine bag. I really wanted to bring in some of that blue from the right side of my spread to the left. So I end up cutting down this four by six card just a little tiny bit, just to um, be able to add that color behind my photos and glassine bag. I'm also gonna end up cutting a tiny bit from my navy blue card. This will also help kind of balance the top and bottom. I just felt like I needed some of that navy blue to poke out from the top of my glassing bag, if that makes any sense. To finish up my spread, I'm going to use these little stamps that says maker and made by, and I'm gonna stamp them randomly around my clusters and I believe I do stamp them on the left side, right, like under my uh, scrap paper and at the top of my glassine bag. I just played around a little bit. I really felt like it added a little something to my clusters and my layout. 
and then I call my layout done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!